CataractCoach.com. Secrets to success for KDB MIGS. The Kahook Dual Blade is an effective treatment for glaucoma in this minimally invasive procedure. So here you go. End of the cataract case. Eyes full of viscoelastic. Here comes the eye wall going in the capsule bag. Definitely make sure you have a nice overlap of the optic by the capsule rexus. And of course, a monofocal lens is probably a preferred choice in a patient who has concomitous glaucoma. Now look at the main incision there. Notice how it's not nicking the limbal vessels, which in this case is probably pretty good. Why is that? Well, the problem is if you nick limbal vessels, as you put up your gonio prism here, you may get a poor visualization if there's blood in that surface. So here are the incisions just a little bit inside the limbal vessels so you don't get any bleeding there. And now it's time to do the gonio prism. So tilting the head, while that happens, let me tell you about the Cataract Coach Podcast. It's the top podcast in all of ophthalmology for a reason. It teaches you how to be a more successful ophthalmologist. Yes, everyone listens to it except for you, and you are missing out. So please, it's everywhere where you find podcast services. Check it out. Now, the patient's head tilted away from you. The microscope tilted towards you. There's your gonio prism. Put that on the eye. Yep, adjust the patient wherever you need to to get a good view of that angle. Look at that. You can see the angle already. Beautiful. Now, let's take a look at, zoom in here a little bit. Let's get that KDB going inside the eye. So this blade is allowing you to strip away a nice section there to open up the canal. So there's the blade going in. You can see you want to have a nice arc motion, and it should glide along very easily. There it is. Keep going. Pivot, 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 pivot. Remember, it is a complete pivot here. And once that's done here, now you've done a pretty good job there. You want to try to do maybe start a little bit more to your right and then go to the left. You want to do it all in one good sweeping motion. Some surgeons will do half one way, then put the blade and go half the other way. That may be reasonable as well. Let's see the approach here. Now, a little viscoelastic to really open up the canal there. And then there's going to be another neat thing, which I'll show you, which is going to be stripping away the trabecular meshwork with the IA probe after the procedure is done here. So there we go. Now you've opened it up quite nicely. And again, this is a procedure that every cataract surgeon should be able to do. It's not that difficult. You can certainly learn it yourself. And it's a nice procedure, a MIGS procedure, M-I-G-S, right? Minimally invasive glaucoma surgery. So there you go. Look at that. More viscoelastic to really open up the trabecular meshwork or stripping the TM and then open up that canal. There you go. Nicely injected. Beautiful. And again, this patient's going to have some IOP lowering effect from just doing the cataract surgery. And there's going to be an additional lowering effect from having this MIGS procedure done. Now get the eye back into position into primary and get the microscope turned back to where you need to. Have you decided to check out that podcast yet? Now going inside the eye, watch this. Going in with the IA probe. Oh, here we go. First, hydrating up the incision a little bit. I like the sides is good, but I like the roof a little bit more. And then here's the IA probe going inside, taking out viscoelastic, perhaps maybe going behind the optic as well, really remove all that viscoelastic. And then here we go, look at that, caught the trabecular meshwork strip there, and pulling it, pull, 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 and that can be really nicely removed. Fantastic. So you may have to have a little bit higher on the vacuum there, keep your foot down on the pedal to make sure you get that. And by stripping this away, you're ensuring that this is doing more than just making a cut in the, in the canal here to open up the canal. You're stripping away a, a margin of tissue that for the ends can't go back together here. Now again, lightly sealing up the main incision here and then checking at the end. And you can see, look at the blanching there nasally. There's conjunctival blanching in the area of the KDB treatment. That's really cool to see. And that's very, look at that, very pronounced in this video. Check the pressure here at the end, make sure it's all uh, reasonable. And again, patient will have a very nice outcome. So again, this is part of our secret series. I'm, I'm committed to teaching you all the secrets you need to know about cataract surgery, glaucoma, cornea, refractive, whatever we got. We're going to spill all the beans. We're all going to learn together. We're going to democratize ophthalmic surgery education. And remember, check out that podcast. It really is that amazing.